Welcome back, Mitzvah 17. Mitzvah Saseh Lokum Mepnei Seva Ulechabei Talmid Chacham Velakum Mipana. It is a positive commandment to rise up before an aged man and to honor a Torah scholar. Getting up before him, let's take a look inside. It is a positive commandment to rise up before an aged man, or woman for that matter, and to honor a Torah scholar. Getting up before him. As scripture says, you shall rise up before Seva, is the Hebrew word, a man of hoary head, and honor the presence of a zakain, an old man. The term seva, a man of hoary head, means someone of very advanced age, even if he is not a man of wisdom. One is duty bound to stand before him or her, even a wise scholar who is very young. But he is not obligated to stand up his full height before him, the old man, but only enough to honor him. There are gradations of uh, showing honor. The term zakein means zeh shekana chachma, one who has acquired wisdom. Even if he is very young, one is to stand up to his full height before him, before one who has acquired wisdom, from the time the scholar comes within four cubits until he has left his presence. Four cubits is six feet. One is likewise duty bound to give honor to his Torah teacher, even if he has not learned most of his, to of his knowledge of Torah from him. If a Torah teacher is willing to overlook his honor, it may be left aside. But it is a great wrong to disparage or disgrace Torah scholars, whoever disgraces such scholars, or to hate them, whoever disgraces such scholars will have no share in the world to come. It applies in every place and time for both man and woman. We respect those persons who embody what it is that we want our society to be. A person who is of hoary head, a person who is very old, who's acquired great age, is to be respected for a number of reasons. First of all, there's a certain implicit assumption that you don't make it to old age unless you deserve to. Uh, but also, furthermore, there's an understanding that age yields wisdom and that we have to reinforce at all times that as smart and as energetic and as confident as young people may be in their solutions and in their questions, there is what to be said for age and experience. I know we went through here in this country in the 60s and 70s countercultural movements, hope I die before I get old, right? Don't trust anyone over 30. Uh, that's probably, those, uh, from a Torah point of view, those are good indications that you shouldn't be listening to the people who are saying those things, either because they're young and stupid or because they fail to realize that the world is far more complex and life is much more complex than we assume, and somebody who's been able to negotiate life has a certain wisdom that other people simply don't have. As for Torah scholars, uh, so the word here from the verse, the Hebrew word that's being um, transposed, if you will, is zakein. The verse says, v'hadarta p'nei zakein, that you should honor the presence of a zakein. Now a zakein is an elder. In context, in context, this would therefore sound like just as you need to respect the um, just as you need to respect your elders somebody who have a hoary head you also have to respect somebody who's just old that's like two types of old people you have to respect them both however the rabbis say that zakain is also an acrostic for zeshekon chachma this he who has or a person who has acquired Chachma, and in this case, Torah knowledge in particular, that Torah sages need to be respected. And while Torah sages may choose to be more informal, they still need to be respected properly, and that involves standing up in the presence of a Torah scholar. This is one of the reasons why this predates me. I certainly didn't institute this, but this is one of the reasons why in our congregation, when the rabbi gets an aliyah, everybody stands up while the rabbi has his aliyah. Um, and uh, just in general, this idea of having respect for persons who are knowledgeable in Torah, uh, this really reflects where we're at. Young people ask a lot of great questions. They really do. And they have their own story to tell, and they're from a different generation. But for whatever generation you're from, age brings a certain amount of wisdom. And certainly Torah knowledge brings a certain amount of wisdom, or at least we would hope it does, although we often see that it unfortunately does not. We would hope that it does. Respecting these things and showing outward signs of respect shows what our society is about. Similar to, by the way, 
respecting one's parents shows what our society is about. Whether they are individually absolutely deserving of respect or not, we are respecting institutions in society, older people, parents, rabbis and Torah scholars. Thanks for being with us. We will be back with our next mitzvah, mitzvah number 18. It is a positive commandment to have reverent fear of the sanctuary. How should we conduct ourselves in shul and synagogue? Let's find out next time. Thanks for being with us. Bye-bye.